Peru is suffering from the most devastating flood in decades. It has killed over 100 people, left 158,000 displaced, and 210,000 homes damaged. Cities and towns have been completely cut off, with more than 260 bridges falling and 3,000 kilometers of roads destroyed. Evangelina Chamorro was nearly a fatality of the flood's fury. But what's causing the floods? El Niño is a weather phenomenon that causes temperatures of the Pacific Ocean close to the equator to rise. Evaporation and condensation speed up because of this, and heavy rain falls in Peru's coast, which is mostly desert. Floods have been tearing through Peru since January, but repercussions from El Niño can be felt all over the world, with stronger typhoons in Asia, colder winters in Europe, and droughts in Australia. If this is a somewhat regular and expected climate pattern, why is it causing so much devastation now? The answer is climate change. Because of greenhouse gas emissions caused by human activity, record high temperatures are heating up the oceans to temperatures never seen before. This intensifies El Niño's outcomes as witnessed in Peru and Ecuador with 14 deaths due to the heavy rains these past months and Colombia with more than 225 deaths in a mudslide two weeks ago. More than 800 cities are still in state of emergency in Peru. It will take over three years to reconstruct the affected areas, according to the Peruvian government. Estamos trabajando día y noche en solucionar los problemas que sufren muchos, estando en carpas o quizás sin tener ninguna vivienda. Meanwhile, with Donald Trump recently signing executive orders to roll back Obama's clean power and environmental protection regulations, it might take even longer for the world to realize these weather phenomenons are worsened because of us.